Greetings everyone, it is I, Umbra, here. A little bit late, but have no fear, because we're going to give you the lowdown details on JP. And this is the, the, the last update before this major Final Fantasy collaboration that we got coming up, a numbered Final Fantasy collaboration. So of course, everybody is a buzzing about what it's going to be. Uh, will it be 8? Will it be 9? 13? 10 again? Who knows? Uh, but it's always exciting when this kind of stuff comes up. So let's talk about what JP is looking for an update before. That's right. Before the tantalizing 19th, let's talk about this week's update. Starting with the story update 343, which is always a big exciting thing because it is a major and, and this is probably going to be one of the last few story updates we get before JP and Global start seeing parody. So kind of fun uh, to think that maybe this will be a major story lead. Obviously, we're coming up on the fourth anniversary of Wotive in just a few short months, which also could mean that there's going to be some major development soon in the story. But hey, just postulizing here. Uh, next up, we're going to be talking about the new unit uh, coming out, which is, what's his name? Grifford? Grifford, I believe, but not Clifford, the big red dog. Uh, this is a ice elemental 70 cost unit, a permanent addition to the pool with a brand new job as well, which is kind of interesting too, uh, just because, you know, it, it's always interesting to see uh, like these new jobs show up because they're usually better versions of old jobs and maybe they're not the most exciting on the 70 cost unit but they are an introduction as to what it will be like and what type of job that will be for future units too so axe is getting a little love I, I, i'm all for it at this point so ice elemental 70 cost character a little bit of a resource drain before the collaboration of course and we're looking at three abilities and a master ability to give us some details. New job is Axe Knight. He also has a Battle Axe, so all in on axes, plus Urel's main job, which I actually think is just a nice series across the board, uh, potentially giving them survivability as well as offensive and range capabilities, which I think is just pretty good. Uh, and of course, he does have a Limit Burst, which is... Two consecutive damages large while also changing range attack resistance uh, for uh, range attack resistance down for three turns. So that's pretty interesting. We look over here and second ability creates a barrier to prevent physical damage to yourself and ups a to a certain amount. So like Halloween Lucia, a kind of HP barrier and last but not least raises attack and agility for three turns. Last but not least, Triple Sweep. Uh, damage large to targets within range. Chance of sleep. And uh, power increases for more targets. Which, you know, overall, I, I think this is a pretty well interesting looking unit with some uh, good anti-physical as well as dealing physical damage. So, I, you know, I, I actually think that this is perfectly acceptable. His HP and defense are his master ability. So I guess he, this is, again, we use this word a lot on my videos, but this is a more type of brawler unit, a physical brawler that is anti-physical that will potentially be interesting. I mean, so there's a couple of things here. Ice Slash is definitely something that is supported. Ice Physical Slash is definitely supported. Spear is unfortunately not his damage type, which I think he would be a little bit more interesting. Uh, it'll just be interesting to see how much this could potentially mean for lower cost units, uh, lower cost battles in the future, as well as what the new job type is like. And, you know, this could be a hint as to a new character that is coming very soon in the next collaboration. If this job is, you know, either in the next collaboration or the collaboration around the fourth anniversary, uh, could be hints towards some kind of axe character in the future. So let me ask you, who do you think it could be? All right, uh, continuing on, he'll be part of the Axe group. There is a new Axe to support him. Uh, we are having some limited time stuff as well as pickup match 
uh, we're looking at uh, some new six star equipment as well as some uh, general upgrades. Uh, but let's talk just a little bit about Royal Ranks. Now, I think this has already been mentioned, but Royal Ranks is going to be getting updated on JP, which is good because our Royal Ranks has been really laughably bad for a very long time. Way too expensive and just not good enough for the rewards that you're effectively getting. The uh, really interesting thing is that there are some units on here uh, for 99 and it looks like some things have actually been updated as well there are some kind of mistakes on here uh, but yeah it's kind of interesting to see that royal ranks are potentially allowing you to buy level 99 characters which honestly i still don't think is worth it because you look at this and for spending money i think you should just give people 120s at the very least uh, and let them get into 140s way quicker if you really want to entice people into spending money. That would be a hell of a better deal. And for, we're not talking about really great units here. We're looking at, like, Rob, which, woof. I mean, yes, Rob can be potentially decent, uh, especially with certain updates and limit burst updates. But I have to say that this is still, like, a level 99 Mashery Horn like, it's just not quite good enough. They're still being way too stingy with this, but it is a step in the right direction. So in three years, when this gets updated again, the 120s, when we're trying to build 170s, uh, this will probably, you know, pass me will smile. Uh, other than that, uh, not really too much. Version 8.3 is upcoming. Uh, we're looking at some updates here. We're also looking at some banners. Uh, basically, right now, you should just look at these banners as temptation banners. I mean, if you're not interested in collaboration characters, if you're just playing for story characters or whatever, then these banners will be generally good deals. And of course, you know, these characters, these 70 cost characters, have actually been pretty decent. Shawls uh, has been actually really good in fire teams, uh, kind of interesting there, and also particularly pretty nice in. Uh, I mean, 70 cost units have, like, Halloween Lucy, I actually really, really adore, so cool. Uh, and here you're looking at the guaranteed 18k for a unit, which overall is a discounted unit. If you're really interested in that, if not, then you're probably just saving for the collaboration, and no super big rush to hurry to get this unit either, because, you know, 70 cost, you'll show up eventually. So anyway, uh, that is basically the JP update, such as it is. If we take a look across about what is coming for Global, well, I guess it's already what is out for Global. Probably need to talk about that, but uh, stay tuned.